What is dependency injection? Well, the literal meaning is to inject dependencies. So let's start by defining what a dependency is. A dependency is just another object that your class needs to function. So if you have a model class that fetches data from a database object, we can say that your model class has a dependency of that database object. So now that we know what a dependency is, let's talk about what it means to inject dependencies. Injecting dependencies just means that the dependency is pushed into the class from the outside. All that means is that you shouldn't instantiate dependencies using the new operator from inside of the class. Instead, take it as a constructor parameter or via a setter. That's really all there is to dependency injection. You don't need a fancy container or a class or an object to do it. Sure, they may make your life easier, but you don't need them. But why should we inject dependencies in the first place? Let's imagine for a minute that you're programming a house building robot. You start with a pile of lumber and you program it to start building walls. Then, when you get to a doorway, what do you do? Do you program it to build a custom door out of raw materials each time? Or do you program it to take a ready-made door from a supplier and install that? The most flexible way to do it would be to take the door from a supplier. And that's exactly what dependency injection does. It decouples your class's construction from the construction of its dependencies. The reason that this is so important is the dependency inversion principle. Basically, dependency inversion is the principle that code should depend upon abstractions. By depending upon abstractions, we're decoupling our implementations from each other. In PHP, that means your code should depend upon interfaces. That way, we can substitute different dependencies as long as they all satisfy the required interface. By using dependency injection, we decouple our code from the lower level implementations, making our code cleaner, easier to modify, and easier to reuse. Now that we've adopted dependency injection, we have another problem. Each of our classes require all of these dependencies. So now, to construct each and every class, we not only need to figure out what dependencies they need, we need to figure out how to instantiate the dependencies. Luckily for us, there's a solution. Enter the dependency injection container. At the root, the container is nothing more than a map of dependencies that your class needs with the logic to create those dependencies if they haven't been created yet. So every time you ask for a dependency, the map will figure out which dependency to use, and then the container will check to see if it created one of those dependencies already. If it has, it'll just use that one. Otherwise, It'll create the dependency, store it, and then return it. So instead of constructing all of your classes yourself, you ask the container for a new instance. It will then resolve the dependencies, construct your object, and return it to you. The best part of it is that the container can resolve complex dependencies transparently. And if you want to swap out a generic dependency, you only need to update the container. So write cleaner and more modular code. Use dependency injection.